Okay, we're always getting uh, emails and so forth of um, where are my favorite places to play. And uh, we're going to do a video, and we're going to update this video about every quarter. Of, because the conditions in the casinos, uh, as small as some of them are, make a huge difference in your play. So we're going to give you a list right now of where my favorite places are to play and, and some little critique of maybe why. Now, my number one casino on the Strip is Treasure Island, also known as TI. They changed the name to TI. i have got four 12-foot tables. Two of the tables are green. Those are wool felt. They've got two that are blue. Those are microfiber. Some people freak out a little bit on the microfiber because the way the dice respond. They, they slide a little more than they would on the wool, but still it's a very playable table. They're all 12 foot. They have the uh, razor odds. They have the 3x, 4x, 5x odds. Um, <clears throat> the dealers are very good in there, and um, the suits are, are very user friendly. And um, <clears throat> about maybe six, eight months ago, I was having problems getting comps in there because it's an MGM property and they're kind of kind of uh, stingy with their comps. But now since the economy has turned a little adverse, now comps are opening up again. I went there to uh, get a, a, a dinner for two the other night. He brings up my record and he says, uh, what do you want? And I says, I don't know, what do you got? I think I'm gonna get a couple of buffets. He says, you can have whatever you want. I go, great. So we ate at the steakhouse, had a nice dinner. So that's the comp part of it. The next place would be the Bellagio. They've got a lot of tables. They've got like 11, 12 foot tables in there. They've got two of them that are non-smoking. Those are by closer to the cashier's cage. Believe it or not, uh, on a Saturday night, a couple of weeks ago, they had $10 tables in there. They had five tables open, all $10 tables. So very user-friendly, great dealers, no problem uh, with the suits, no problem with setting the dice. Remember, you still need to set the dice quickly. 1,000, 1, 1,000, two, your dice are set. No problems with uh, betting as far as uh, if you want to increase your bets and so forth. They don't sweat the money there, so that's another reason to play there. No sweating the money. Monte Carlo is a good place, 12-foot tables. Uh, <clears throat> has a true bounce, good casino conditions. Um, the bounce on the Monte Carlo table is a lot like the one I have here on this table, so very playable. Lower odds, I mean lower limits, $5, 10 game. Harris. <clears throat> Harris on the strip. Uh, they have all 14-foot tables, but they're very playable. Uh, they're wool. <clears throat> you want to use a lower arc because very hard surface. Uh, beatable game, but kind of neat during football season. In the sports book, they have a 10-foot table. They have the small diamonds instead of the large diamonds. Uh, the dice are a little bouncy on that table, but it's very, very beatable. And it's open in the evenings, um, and especially at, when the football season's over, the table's gone and then they bring it back because in the sports bar they got a small pit, some blackjack, some roulette, pie gal poker, and then this little 10-foot table. And, it's, and the, the crew is great. We've done very well on that table. Okay, New York, New York. They've got uh, five tables in there. Very playable, except for right now. They've got a lot of construction going on in the casino. Very, very noisy. Uh, they got jackhammers going on. You can't even hear yourself think. They've got half, about a quarter of the floor, casino floors all cordoned off with plywood and so forth. Very, very noisy. Typically, we do well there, but it's too noisy to play right now. I don't recommend New York, New York, even though it's on the list. Ballets has 12-foot tables. Very playable. They have the fire, uh, yeah, they have the fire, they have the fire bet. And remember, at Harrah's Properties, typically the fire bet is $5. At Harrah's Properties, they're $10. So you can bet up to $10. Same with Caesars Palace. Playable casino, $10 fire bet. They've got four tables, um, 12 foot. They got a couple of 14 foot tables in there too. If you notice in, in Caesars, some of their table rails go at an angle. So it's like an octagon. The end of the wall isn't exactly flat. There's a flat spot there that you need to hit, but it's more like an octagon there, just to let you know. Wind Casino, very nice. The ambiance is great. Um, stick right, I cannot shoot from stick right. They're too bouncy. I'm right-handed. I can shoot from stick left. I can get the dice to lay down there very nicely. It's a little higher limits there. <clears throat> they got 10 tables in there. Uh, three, four, five times odds. But their game is usually a $15 game. Next door at the Palazzo is the same thing. Uh, they've got eight tables in there. Very playable. Stick right, right-handed. Um, 
it's a little bouncy, so from there I shoot from stick left, right handed, and I can get the dice to lay down. The last one on the strip that we recommend is O'Shea's. It's called, we call that our ghetto casino because it's always a $5 game, good to go practice. People have a lot of fun there, and I've had some students that just like to go in there and just putts around, and they usually end up making money anyway. So those are the casinos on the strip at this point, and remember these are all subject to change, and we are going to make changes every quarter. Pablo has a statement. Yeah, Excalibur. We were Excalibur the other day. Oh, yeah, that's the newest yeah. one we just found. Good, good point, Pablo. It's an MGM Grand property. Pablo and I went in there. I played in there twice before, got good results, good, uh, good feeling, energy feeling from the dealers and the, and the pit. Uh, we went in there. We were the only ones at the table. It was a $10 game. We asked them to lower it to 5 They did. Beautiful. We filled the table up. Pablo and I both caught some nice long rolls. There are 14-foot tables in there, but it's very playable. You have a question, Pablo? Oh, okay. So anyway, those are the ones in the strip for now. They're all, they're all going to change because uh, they always do. So stay in tune and keep checking back, and we'll let you know when we put the new ones up, and we'll be sending out uh, through our AWeber account. We'll be sending you notifications when we put up new videos and so forth, and especially the changes in the casinos. Very important. Okay, thank you. Enjoy and have fun.